Hi guys and welcome to day two of gift guide week here on my channel. If you missed yesterday's video, allow me to explain what's going on this week. So yesterday I sat down and shared 50 different gift ideas for girls and girlfriends and today I'm sharing 50 gift ideas for guys slash boyfriends. This is typically in the teen to 20 something age range just for you guys who you know are wondering and then tomorrow I've got 25 gift ideas for moms and mother-in-laws and then the following day 25 ideas for dads and father-in-laws so I will have older gentlemen coming later this week for you guys I have spent so much time working on this series and I wanted this to be as authentic and real as possible for you guys so I have done so much research for this YouTube video and this blog post I sat down with pretty much every guy friend I have and I asked them a series of questions I asked them what is their favorite gift they've ever received from a significant other? What are their favorite gifts that they've ever received from a parent, aunt, uncle, that kind of thing? What's on their Christmas wish list this year? And what are some standout gifts that have been really unique in the past? I also asked them what they've given girlfriends and all those kinds of questions to really just generate some ideas. Connor helped me brainstorm tons of these ideas and so did a lot of my other friends. So shout out to everyone that has contributed if you guys are watching this I doubt they are they're sick of me asking questions but along with this YouTube video I will have a blog post linked down below and in that blog post I have all 50 gift ideas written out and I also have various links to each item I am discussing so I've tried my best to cover every single price range in a bunch of different stores so I have gift ideas under $25.50 $100 in that blog post so I highly recommend checking them out if you are you know looking for something for your guy and I tried to use retailers who I know run big Black Friday sales within the next coming week. Coming in hot at number one is sporting event tickets. This did not surprise me one bit. Almost every guy said they would prefer an experience over an actual materialistic item which again didn't really surprise me especially when it came from a significant other they said it meant a lot so I have my computer here, which is why I keep looking over here. Whether it be MLB, NFL, NHL, NBA, you name it, most guys said they would love to go to a sporting event of their favorite team with their girlfriend or honestly with their buddies just to get out for the night. A very good idea. I do know that it's Corona time, but most stadiums are at 25 to 50% capacity at this point. So if you're comfortable with it, that's an awesome gift idea. Next up were concert tickets. Again, I know things are different because of Corona, but but most people, even moms and dad age people, said that some of their favorite memories with their significant other when they first started dating were concerts. So if your significant other, boyfriend, guy friend, whatever, has a favorite band or artist, I recommend looking at the lineup for 2021, seeing if they're coming to your area and booking a ticket for that. I do have a feeling that outdoor concerts will be happening this summer, so I feel like if it's outdoor, you like that's a safe bet. One of my friends, Sam, said that his most meaningful gift he's ever received was a plane ticket voucher so that he could go on a mission trip, and he said he's gotten this gift a few different times, and it's one of his favorite gifts that he's ever gotten, and I thought that was really sweet, really sentimental. A lot of the girls that I talked with, too, said that they've given their significant other like a trip away for the weekend and that was very popular. Southwest is constantly having $49 sales. Just sign up for their emails and they literally email me like once a week saying $49 to fly from here to Cleveland. Maybe just look at that, you know, book a little Airbnb for two nights and just get away. I think it's a really cute idea. My sister and her boyfriend Colton are big skiers and every year for the last four years they've gotten each other something skiing related. So the first year that they were together he got her a ski pass and this is an awesome idea especially if you're significant other is into you know like snow sports if they want to snowboard if they want to ski anything like that that's a really awesome thing especially if you buy passes together so that you guys can go each weekend together which is what he did for her and then that kind of goes off of my next idea which is snow boots a board helmet all that kind of stuff every single year they get each other something ski related whether it be a pair of new boots whether it be a jacket i know that last year he got her skis for her birthday um, I linked a bunch of different things all per Colton's recommendation. He has worked at a ski shop for, I want to say, 
four or five years now so he definitely knows his stuff and he's been skiing since he was like three or four so he had awesome recommendations for me so if you and your boyfriend have a hobby that you do together or if you're considering starting one like skiing or snowboarding that's a really great thing to invest in during the holidays a top golf day i had to put on here i've always wanted to go to top golf i feel like every teenager in 20 something is obsessed with golfing right now honestly if you've ever been you know why i love golfing i think it's so stupid fun and top golf is a hit it's safe it's inside you can eat while you're there and you're not really around anyone else this is just a really fun like experience kind of date way to get out of the house around this time of year if you're really whipped almost every boy said that they want the new ps5 which didn't shock me one bit obviously ps5s PlayStation 5s are very, very expensive. This is something that you're probably buying your significant other if you've been together for a few years. But another great idea, especially if you're a mom and you're shopping for your son, you know, along with that comes video games. Connor has informed me that Call of Duty's back in business and Fortnite is for losers. I think it depends if you're an Xbox or a PlayStation player. I had to do a lot of research for this series, guys, because boys are really hard to shop for in my experience, and so there was a lot of things I didn't know, but he told me that depending on your gaming system, depending on how old you are, kind of depends on what video games you may be playing. So he suggested that just a gift card to wherever you buy video games from um, is probably your best bet. I also know that Sam said he loves this like new golf game that he plays on his ps4 i don't know guys you know what i really tried for this next up is ugg slippers this is such a popular gift idea for christmas where i live i'm from maryland and i go to school in ohio and the boys in both areas wear them they look like this and they're super super cute they're very soft obviously an investment but they are they're like slippers, but they're not really slippers. They are shoes. You can wear them out and about. And like I said, everyone and their mother has them here. Nice sunglasses you can never go wrong with. I know that each boy kind of has a different preference when it comes to this. Some boys might want more of an aviator style, like a pair of Ray-Bans. Others are like baseball players and they want, you know, like baseball sunglasses that are like the rainbow kind. It kind of just depends. I tried to link some that I liked. And for items that I didn't really have an idea on, because obviously I don't shop for boys' sunglasses, Glasses. I went and I looked up like the highest reviews or ones that were rated really really well and I tried to link those for you guys. Alcohol. It may seem simple but most guys are. You can really never go wrong with it. I'm pretty sure no 21 year old is ever going to complain about getting a case of beer or a bottle of their favorite liquor. Another great idea and along with that I have a beer bong. Connor made me specifically put this on the list. He said a beer bong is a great idea for college students. It's like five dollars to get one went off of Amazon and you'd be surprised how popular they are at school. Chubbies were another very popular answer. If you don't know what chubbies are, they started off as a swim trunk brand. They are the five inch inseam kind of shorts. They now sell other clothes like they sell regular shorts. They sell boxers they sell like hoodies and stuff too but they are most commonly known for their swim trunks. I know it seems kind of weird to get a bathing suit this time of year but like boys in college literally love these things the more obnoxious print the better the shorter they are the better that's like the thing right now so that's a good idea a wallet is a really nice gift that you can't go wrong with i know my dad got his wallet from my mom and he had the same wallet for literally 20 years until it fell apart like it quite literally one day the both sides of it fell apart this is an awesome idea fossil has really really nice leather watches and nordstrom's another great place to shop for these as well cornhole boards is one of my favorite gifts on this list i absolutely love cornhole i think you play it whether you're 13 whether you're 23 whether you're 53 and it's in the, your backyard for you know your like backyard games you cannot go wrong with cornhole i absolutely love it I know that a lot of colleges and a lot of like major league um professional sports teams have cornhole boards like with their team or their logo their name on it so i think that that's a cool idea too if you have someone who's like really into their school or really into their sports team that's a fun way and you can also customize these too on certain websites and of course the bean bags that go with don't forget those a ping pong table is another great idea connor's little brother got one of these last year for christmas and we literally use it almost every single time i go over it's super fun to play even if you're 
terrible at it like me. If you didn't paint a beer pong table during quarantine, now is your time. I know that these are really big on TikTok in March, people painting them themselves. And there are some really cool guy ones out there. If you literally just type in the search bar of TikTok beer pong table, you can get all this inspiration. I think this is a really cool idea to do for your boyfriend to paint, you know, like his school colors on it, his favorite teams, maybe his favorite sayings, his favorite alcohol on it. You can really get creative with these and I know it may seem silly that it's a beer pong table but it's a really thoughtful gift it takes a lot of time to make and it's really something that he's going to keep with him forever like our folding table downstairs is quite literally from my dad's senior year of college like he will keep it forever um just make sure that you seal it so that when it gets wet it doesn't ruin the table yard games are a safe bet for any kind of guy like i said i already talked about cornhole but things like can jam and spike ball are really popular here where i live i know that they're not as big of a thing in ohio but especially if you live on the east coast or maybe by the beach can jam and spike ball are very popular beach games really fun again no matter your age one of my best friends ethan recommended timberlands he said no one can ever go wrong with a pair of Timberlands and he doesn't really know any boy that would be disappointed to receive a pair. They're kind of popular regardless of where you go um, in the world. I feel like I see Timberlands everywhere I go and they're a little bit pricier but they are a staple and something that boys can wear for years. There are very few nice things that guys need in their wardrobe but a dress belt is definitely one of them. I know that when I was in high school our football team had to dress up every single Friday for games and so they always needed like belts and ties and many boys at that age don't have one of those so this is a really good idea for that age also when you go to college if you're an athlete you probably have to dress up you also may have an internship an interview you're starting to get your first big boy job a belt really is a staple I either recommend brown or black preferably both and kind of deciding if there's someone who prefers silver or gold I know that silver is probably more common in the boy world like I said ties are another great gift idea obviously not every boy wears a tie you kind of have to cater to their lifestyle if they are someone who's working their first real job and they need to get dressed up a tie is another awesome idea or like I said if you are in high school and you are dressed up for game days you are dressing up for school dances proms um things like that a tie you can never go wrong with i used to buy my sister's boyfriend we always give each other like 15 20 gifts for christmas and i've gotten him a few over the years my go-to places for ties are vineyard vines and Coles. a basketball hoop if they don't have one now is the time whether it be a big basketball hoop for their driveway or if they are living in an apartment a dorm you know maybe they're in college still one of those like that hooks onto the door is always a good idea. Every boy has one and the b basketball is like this big, I swear to God, but they still play with it for hours. Um, it beats me why, but another good idea. If they don't have an aux cord, get them one. This is an essential whether you are a female or a male. I don't care what your boyfriend is saying to you. He does jam out to his car on his own. If he says otherwise, he is lying. If they don't have like the little dongle or the little attachment, they don't have Bluetooth in their car now is the time to get it for an apple watch is really an essential gift regardless of your age your gender whatever it may be you really can never go wrong with one i have a series three i know that there's a series six by now i don't think that you need to get anything higher than a three they don't really do much like they, they don't do different things it's just a newer version i feel like i don't have the cellular i don't think you need the cellular because how often are you going to be calling someone in the middle of nowhere with just your watch you almost always have your phone on you so i don't really feel the need for cellular it tracks your steps tracks your workouts this is a really good idea if your um boyfriend guy whatever is really into like lifting or working out like you know apple watch is a good idea airpods if they don't have a pair now's the time if you're in college everyone wears airpods I mean, who do you know that doesn't wear wireless headphones? These are classic, whether they're wearing them to the gym, around campus, to study, going to class, getting ready for a game. I don't even know if I already said that. I'm losing my mind. But these are awesome. I do not have the wireless charging case. I don't think you need the wireless charging case. But, you know, if you want to go the extra step or spend the extra money so that things are even more convenient for him, I highly recommend. But... Pretty much every boy I know has a pair of wireless headphones. We're back on the golf topic because every boy seems to love golf these days. Along with golf, I have a few ideas. So extra balls, tees, gloves, club covers, or even new golf 
golf shoes are really good ideas. Like I said, I have many friends who golf on a daily basis. Connor works at a golf course, so he goes golfing like a couple of times a week and it's something that he really enjoys, a hobby for him to get out of the house and do with his best friend. So if they're into golfing, there are like random things that you do need, even if they do seem small, like obviously golf balls is a small gift idea, but if you're looking for something small, that's actually surprisingly very useful to them. A team jersey was at the top of every boy's list. They said they want to receive a new jersey for Christmas, whether it be for Major League Baseball, NFL, like whatever it may be, all guys said that they love wearing this. I know that some boys prefer like their college team over professional sports and so if they are like that I'd recommend checking out your college's um, bookstore. They always have great sales around Black Friday, at least Kent State does. I mean I can't imagine ever wearing a Kent State football jersey. You probably wouldn't but if you go to a big SEC school this might be something worth checking out. This is also a safe bet for a dad or a grandpa All too. Alright, moving into more like workout-y kind of things. Connor really did a good job. Like he generated my first list of things and then after Connor I started talking with a bunch of other people about this kind of thing. But Connor suggested workout bands. He is really into like body weight workouts right now not necessarily using weight but using workout bands and like doing push-ups like pull up all that kind of stuff and so workout bands are another awesome idea they're super super cheap you can find them at amazon dicks you name it a pull-up bar if you're shopping for a teenager who is just trying to like get bigger they're just getting into i feel so stupid talking about this guy stuff if they're like just trying to like get into weights um maybe they're like freshman sophomore in high school a pull-up bar is a really great gift idea because it's one of the first initial ways that connor said you start like you know getting stronger so a pull-up bar that you can just hook on to the door frame he still has his and he uses it every single day i feel like most college age kids probably have a pull-up bar by now if they want one but I tried to find a few and link them down below. Protein powder. It's one of those things like makeup that boys use every single day but they don't want to pay for themselves. I recommend finding out your man's favorite kind of protein powder, like workout drink, supplement, like whatever they use in the morning before or after they work out. Replenish his stock of that. He will appreciate it. A guitar is another great idea if you have a musically talented significant other or son. Like I keep saying significant other but these are ideas for your brother, your best friend. Um, your son, your nephew, like I don't know who's watching this, but a guitar is a cool idea. I also, in this category, threw in Guitar Hero, and you're probably wondering, Mackenzie, why on earth? One of my good friends, Mike, is a senior in college, and him and his roommates play Guitar Hero religiously. At least once a week they have a Guitar Hero night and it is like one of their most fun favorite activities. And so while I was on the topic of a real guitar, you know, like trying to get into music, I was like, I'll throw in Guitar Hero here too because apparently that's a really big hit at Kent. A speaker is another awesome idea. There are tons of different wireless speakers out there, which is what I always recommend. I find that the place we bring ours the most is to the beach. I usually bring it on vacation if we go somewhere. Sometimes I leave it up here if I'm like getting ready for a dance or like, you know, a special occasion, anything like that. We like to bring our speaker outside while we're sitting on the deck, playing games, whatever. A speaker is a really great idea, whether you're a girl or a guy, if they don't already have one, like now's the time. Badman is another yard game that the Mannions have and we play it all the time at their house. It's really easy to set up. You just set up the net and then you have to have birdies and obviously rackets to play. But it's really fun. A, like a great summer night sitting outside. I know it's obviously cold when you are giving Christmas gifts but thinking ahead is always important. Amazon has tons of different badminton options for you. I was not surprised when almost every guy said that a hat was a very good gift idea. I know it may seem small but to a boy it's something that they use and wear every single day so a baseball hat beanies visors and bucket hats were the most popular answers I've gotten Connor a bucket hat which is like what he wears to the beach I've also gotten him a couple of visors in the past from Tommy Bahama they have really nice visors and he wears those like when he has to dress up a little bit like if he's going golfing or if he was like headed out to dinner with like a polo and um khaki shorts but a baseball hat was very popular obviously 95% of the boys I talked with are baseball players so I was not surprised to hear that they said a hat from their favorite team would be a great idea and like I said a beanie was another popular answer Carhartt is a very popular favorite amongst people our age. Shaving kits if you hate his mustache get him a shaving kit that is the easiest way to hint and be like 
I really want you to shave that off. So shaving kits are awesome. Um, I've done a little bit of research on shaving kits and Kiehl's and Art of Shaving were the most popular, well-ranked, like well-rated shaving kits. And I took that advice from a bunch of bloggers I follow who bought their husbands these and they all said that this was their favorite. So I linked those. Weighted blankets are a great idea, especially if you date someone or your son is a big napper. I know that may seem weird, but weighted blankets are really great. Not only if like for circulating your blood flow, whatever. They make you sleep really deep, especially if you're taking a nap. And they're also really great for anxiety as well. Like there's tons of different studies out there. So maybe if you have someone who is a little anxious or, you know, going through some stuff mentally, a weighted blanket's a really good idea. And I mean, Who's mad about receiving a blanket? Not me. An Alexa I've talked about in every single gift guide and I will continue to preach it. An Alexa is an awesome idea. You can use it for alarms, reminders, just to ask questions, play music, and call people on. Connor has one, I have one, and when we were dating way back when, we would use it then to call each other because the connection on Alexa is much stronger than like your normal Wi-Fi using FaceTime. So we would always use this doing long distance. My sister and her boyfriend have bought each other both Alexas in the past. I've gotten my parents one and literally like everyone loves them. I know that initially the idea of lis someone listening to you is really bleh, but everyone I know ends up loving them. I know that fishing isn't super popular everywhere, nor are people fishing usually in December, but a fishing rod is a really awesome idea if they're looking to take on a new hobby or maybe if they already do love fishing and you know a lot about it and you wanna surprise them with a new fishing rod, I thought that, that would be worth, <laughs> worth putting down. Similar to golfing, fishing has a lot of random accessories. We've got fishing line hooks, tackle box, fake bait, bobbers, there's just like a ton of different small things out there and lots of my friends were reminding me of these and they were like, you know what? These are things I don't like to buy for myself, but every time I go on a fishing trip with my buddies, I need. Most boys have the worst room decor ever, but a lot of boys do have posters and flags hanging up in their room and I was recommended to put this on the list as well. A lot of boys said they like sports related things, shocker, because like I said, everyone I talked with is an athlete, so my answers are a little biased, but a lot of people said maybe a beach scene favorite movie band or even like a giant picture of you and your significant other if you wanted to like print it out I know Connor has like a bunch of like random fat heads like on his wall too that are really fun back to the golfing thing for the third time golf clothes you can't go wrong with them most men hate shopping for themselves like in fact most boys would rather die than pick out their own clothing so I've taken it upon myself to do some scouring of the internet and I found some super nice polos I found some cute like just regular shirts I found some khaki shorts and some nicer like golf pants that they can wear this time of year and a few pullovers under armor is definitely my favorite place to look for this kind of thing but again their college is a really great um place to check out like every college has a bookstore and within the bookstore they usually have like under armor polos with your college on it i feel like that's a really great gift too i've given my dad like a kent state polo over in the past and he loves that too. Socks. They are something that I get every year for Christmas and they're one of my favorite gifts to receive simply because I always need them. Like throughout the year all my socks disappear and Christmas rolls around and I'm like it's time for new socks and boys are the exact same way. Um, you know get them a pair of nice socks if they are in the big boy world or get them a pair of like you know obviously see what they like. Some boys like mid calves, some boys like ankle socks. I know ankle socks are really trendy right now um, within my age group, my college. I know that that seems weird but like boys are like no you have to wear ankle socks now so that's what I've been told I tried to link some Nikes like whatever down below. A dartboard a very random gift to be putting on this but I love playing darts when I'm out and about a lot of college apartments have darts and I just think it's fun I'm absolutely terrible at it like probably hit the wall more times than not but boys are actually surprisingly really good at this and again it's a great thing especially if they are just getting their first college apartment maybe they're moving in somewhere or even if they are like 13 14 and they just you know like like to have stupid fun in the basement. A nice watch is always a good idea. I got Connor a fossil watch for his high school graduation and I absolutely loved it. It had a brown leather band and a navy blue face and he wore it for a long time when he first got it. Honestly, I think I spent like 
probably $75 on it. It wasn't too expensive. And like I said, Fossil runs so many good sales around Black Friday. Like they do it so well. So definitely check out their website. I will leave some linked below. You can obviously go the Apple Watch route and there are like people who will ask for like a thousand dollar Rolex. I mean, obviously I'm not saying go spend a thousand dollars on your boyfriend, but you know, a duffel bag is another good idea, especially if your man is starting to travel more often. Maybe if you're going on a trip together, this would be a good gift to go along with like a surprise trip. Or if he travels a lot for work, maybe he is an athlete in college and has to go back and forth a lot for games and stuff. A cute little duffel bag, you know, his like old sack from middle school probably needs an upgrade. According to Connor, no guy will ever be disappointed to receive a new ball. And I thought... That's kind of lame. Obviously, everyone has a football and a basketball, Connor, and he assured me that it never hurts to have a new one. I thought that this was a good idea if your significant other has a younger brother. So, like, I know when Connor and I dated, I would get Chase something, like, something small, like, really easy, and, like, a ball is a good gift to get your significant other's brother, if that makes sense. Poker chips. My roommate Emily, her boyfriend Seth, loves playing poker. Like, him and his friends play poker, like, once a week, and they love it. So, I thought poker chips and a deck of cards would be a really fun, unique gift idea. Like, I haven't seen that on any of the gift ideas I've read through or watched. I did watch a lot of videos to generate some ideas, so I know that this can be a really Really common thing to do with your buddies depending on where you go to school you can even throw in some quarters or like single dollar bills for him to bet with boys in their stocks I know that many boys at this age this stage of life are obsessed with stocks they're infatuated with it they check it every day and I know that money is like a really lame gift but if you say specifically like this money is for you to invest in a specific stock then I think that money is actually a really useful beneficial gift especially if you are a little bit older and maybe you are settling down with this boy or you are planning on getting engaged like really having a future with them then like investing is a really great thing to do together weights were another popular answer i know a lot of guys have just like a bar they've got some weights so that they can do the thing with you know and a lot of boys keep it like either in their garage or in their basement connor's got like a whole little weight workout set up um in his basement i know my best friend ethan has his in his garage and he said you know that's like a really great idea even if they are just dumbbells or if it's like the actual like plates of weight like i don't know anything about weights so i'm really the wrong person to be talking about this but i took their recommendations and linked some down in the blog post running sneakers every single boy that i know and talk with on a daily basis always has on just a simple pair of running sneakers and i always ask them oh like how did you how do you choose your favorite sneakers like where did you get those and they're like i don't know someone got them for me for a gift like no boy ever goes shoe shopping for themselves i swear so i went and i found some favorites from nike under armor adidas and i don't know if i found any others but i just linked some pairs that i personally liked like if i had a boyfriend i would want him to wear something like this because i thought they were cute i literally can't stop smiling in this post like what is wrong with me i wish i had a boyfriend to shop for okay then my last gift idea is if you are maybe a little bit older maybe you as the female are someone who travels often or maybe you travel often together you've done a lot of experience things maybe you've been together for a while okay you get the gist i'm setting the tone Okay, so one of my family members used to do this. Everywhere that they would go together, she would buy something small. Her thing was shot glasses. So everywhere they went, she would buy a shot glass and it would go in a little box. And she would, at the end of the year, she would give her husband the box of shot glasses and it would be like traveling throughout the year together through alcohol. I know that a lot of other people could do this with postcards, keychains, magnets, and bottle openers. Like those are little other small things you could collect maybe if you're not. 21 and you're wanting to do something like that obviously it kind of depends on your lifestyle and what sorts of things you do together throughout the year but i thought that's like a really unique like kind of couple-y gift and then of course of course all the guys that i talked with and all the females i talked with said that they always do like a materialistic gift like one of the things i'm talking about right now and then they do like a boyfriend girlfriend gift which is something like cheesy like a photo of you like letters um I don't know like making like a little box of his like favorite candy like most couples said that they do something like that in addition to like an actual gift that you buy so keep that in mind i really 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 hope you guys found this video helpful i know this was a lot of information it was a lot of ideas and like i said 
Everything is linked in the blog post down below. I will not be linking 800 links in the description bar. You have to click into the blog post to see pictures and links to everything. I promise you it's worth it. I've spent about eight hours on this specific gift guide, so please check it out. I love you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this, and if you want to see 25 gift ideas for moms and mother-in-laws, check back in tomorrow. Love you guys, and I will talk to you then.